can set the cover in the boat so we don't get damaged by treading on it. I don't know what's got this noise in this. I don't understand why it's not pumping. It's a very clean motor. Look, it's like new the motor. So, um, say we get. I might see. What I might do is, we'll just get a small bit of wire or something to poke in this hole. Now, um, when it doesn't pee like this. If you've had in salt water and that, and you don't even flush your motor out, this can be a um, common problem with corrosion and everything. But this um, motor's done no work on it. It was running here a few months ago, apparently, which it was, but I never saw it running. But um, it was peeing. But what we'll do is we'll just get this bit of wire, and we'll just poke it. This hole. Only thing um, what my brother was telling me is that something might have crawled in it. Let's just run it and we'll try. I'll turn the board back on. Just start it. Then see that? This is what just come out of it. See that real granular shit? Just got that out of the motor. I don't know if you can see it on the thing or not. Just got this out of the engine. This this white crusty shit come out. That's what was blocked up. It's like fine gravel or some shit. That's what it is. Gravelly shit. Need the muffs on it, not when it's running a drum. Take the muffs off it and let it run properly. There's muffs back in the boat. And what we'll do is we'll just run it again. So we've seen some fine rocks in it.
just that when you put it in gear, you've got to make sure you keep the water up to it. Seems like the wire's done its trick, which has had a little bit of gravelly shit stuck in the in the P tube of it where the water pump is working. So luckily we didn't go taking the leg off and up this this back up. I'll explain some other stuff to you while that's moving. Now um this is what you've got to be really careful of. Right? Now this will help a lot of people out here. Now, when this, when this, when the water pump doesn't work properly, what happens is this engine will get really hot. And when I mean get really hot, I mean what it'll do is it'll melt, it'll burn all this paint, it'll make all this real discoloured. So if you ever go look at an engine sometime and you see the back of the motor when you take the lid off it, the, the paint's discoloured and that, that's because the engine, the head of it's been overheated, which is from lack of water, from the water pump to allow it to cool. This is a two stroke. And um, that's what that does. So the P tube in this one was just blocked. It had a bit of gravelly shit, so we found out the problem for that. And um, just make sure, keep that in mind, if you ever run these motors when they're not pumping water, just be careful because you can't, you will destroy your motor. You'll blow it up because it'll overheat. There is, a, there is an overheating switch on the top here, a little sensor thing where it, if it runs for a bit, it will turn it off, but that's not foolproof though. Not to me anyway, because it'll, it'll already be doing damage to it anyway. And um, yeah, so this one's working good. And this is the next, this problem here on this motor. I'm not 100% sure why the carb is over on doing what they're doing. But I'll um, run this for a bit. And that's just a short video on that six horsepower. Hopefully, um, a bit of wire will um, save his, like, you know, going to the boat place and that and spending money because them boat places, they'll rip you off. They like ripping people off. And, um, yeah. Hope that was a nice, good, short little clip. This is a very nice little motor too. Nice and new. Everything's clean. And uh, she should start one book. <laughs>
because we don't want to recycle that water we don't want to let that water keep going back through it we want to keep filling it up keep the drum clean that's how it should fly real good hard fly you see the difference in it now run because it's starting to get a little bit of shit in the top of the drum because it's too straight and it's the burnt fuel and stuff coming out the muffler but what happens is when you're using the drum it builds up on the top of the lid give us a look at it that's just that's all burnt two stroke oil this is the only thing what happens is when you're running them in drums And um, what I'll do is, I'll just um, keep this running for a bit. I won't film anymore, but I'm just going to keep watching it. I'll let this shit drain off the top of it. And um, I'll just let it run for about 10 minutes, like this in the drum. This one's got a problem where it wants to keep fueling up, but when it's running, so one of the carbs is, this mode is like brand new as well. And um, there's an oil tank on it, and what it does is it self, it's, oh, shit. It self mixes this Fig 70 two stroke, so it takes that unleaded fuel and this pre mixes itself. Howling off it, took this air cleaner off me. I don't know if it's on this camera, but the problem one is the bottom cylinder. Then you go to pump it, see that petrol in it. See the petrol leaking out the front there? The float's not shutting off on that cylinder. The two other cylinders are dry, but this bottom one here. The float refuses to shut off. So, what a pain in the ass, and it couldn't be one of these. It's got to be the bottom bastard. What I'm gonna have to do is, I don't even know if I can even drain it. Even the fitting's fucking dodgy. I don't give you much room to work on and work on stuff like this. I um, might try and get a straw and put some carbies. Just squirt some carb cleaner in 